mill which can only do a half length of the entire log can make one set of passes on one and then we move to the other but you need to set up a frame at the end of each log to carry the rails uh, and we need more room we need another well, quite a substantial gap between the two so the guy who's actually operating the sawmill can walk the whole length of both without smacking into the other each of these halves is at least five tons this is moving. That's absolutely brilliant. What John, who's in the green t-shirt here, is doing at the moment is beginning to set up the mobile sawmill, the portable sawmill, which is called a Lucas mill, which is about the only piece of kit that could tackle a, a log this size other than a, a regular sawmill in a, in a big site. Um, and the way it works, the way all these portable mills work, is that the, um, the saw travels along rails from one end of the, the butt, from one end of the log to the other. So at the moment he's just setting up the rails on the, small, the smaller half of the, of the log, which we managed to push to one side. They need a bit of clearance on each side, so it's going to be touch and go as to whether the piece which John is working on at the moment is going to be far enough away, but it should just clear. And that's basically it. When a bit more equipment is in place, you'll see how the, uh, how the saw, which is still in the back of his truck, actually travels along the rails and just takes slices out. Horizontal slices and then vertical slices until we have a whole lot of boards. That's the theory anyway. It's still early days. Yes, oh, oh, actually on it, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's on it. Yeah. 